It's Wednesday, April 1st, 2009. It's 20 minutes after 1 Eastern Time. We are on Moncton Ridge, Vermont. And let's see. This is the grave of my grandfather, Earl A. Cox, born 1887 and died 1969. So that would have made him 82 years old. This would be Becky and Scott's great grandfather. It would be Lindsay, Justin, and Owen's great, great grandfather. I think I'm getting that right. And this was his wife, my grandmother, Eva M. Shepherd, born in 1894 and died in. 1984. Somebody had recently put some flowers there. And this is the grave of Samuel Shepard and Liz Lizzie J. Haskins. Samuel Shepard would be my great grandfather on my grandmother's side. And his wife, my great grandmother, Lizzie J. Haskins, she was born in 1868, just after the Civil War, died in 1947, a year before I was born. Samuel Shepard was uh, born in 1862 during the Civil War, and he died in 1924. And somebody has recently put a marker here and some flowers. Uh, they have a great view here. They're looking out over um, Cedar Lake. And I think this whole county, well, I may be wrong. I want to say it's Addison County. We're just uh, not too far from Burlington, south. Um, Earl Cox, I knew really well. Um, knew him in the early 50s. Used to come to the farm right across the street. Eva, my grandmother, uh, was really great. I can remember her uh, cooking in the kitchen across the street. We'll take you over there in a little while. And uh, a really neat grandmother. She was a... Um, uh, in a way, a fundamentalist uh, in her religion. I remember uh, when I broke my leg in 1962 in a skiing accident that that was God's way of punishing me for something I did wrong in life. And I think that's the origins of part of fundamentalists. They had... Uh, six children. My father was the eldest, uh, Carlisle Augustus Cox. They had uh, another boy, Sylvester, and then they had four girls. Uh, they had Velma, which was my aunt. She was born in 1920. My father was born in 1914, so Velma would have been born about six years later. She married, um, I'll think of it here in a minute. She uh, ended up owning a restaurant over in uh, New York State uh, with, um, oh boy, now it's escaping me. I'll, I'll think of it here in a minute. Anyway, she died in 1981. She was my father's sister. Then there was uh, Letty, uh, Patty. Uh, Patty was the youngest, um, and Letty, 
well, maybe I'll have to come back and correct this. I'm forgetting the other aunt's name right now. But anyway, there were, there were four girls and uh, two boys, my father being the eldest in the family of the six children. And uh, uh, Velma died in 1981, and she's also buried here. Um, <clears throat> I believe my grandfather was a Quaker. Um, in this area, we've years and years ago, Joanne and I came out here, and I think I got back in grave sites back to my great 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 grandfather. Uh, but by this time, um, the grave sites would be pretty much obliterated. Um, <clears throat> but at any rate, uh, my grandparents on my father's side, Earl and Eva. Uh, buried right across the street where they spent most of their uh, life and where we as kids would come to the farm here where they owned 500 acres until much later in their life when they sold off a lot of the farm and uh, just maintained the, uh, the household and so that's my grandparents my children's great-grandparents and uh, grandkids, great-great-grandparents. So now we're getting it right. So for the grandchildren of me, this would be their great-great-great-grandparents on my grandmother's side, Shepherd. And uh, the earliest born here was 1862, which would put that at 100 and almost 150 years ago. Okay, just give you a little little view out here. This used to be the, see how many minutes I'm working on here. This used to be uh, the town hall and I remember um, coming up here with Joanne and going through some of the uh, old records and documents um, as far as who's here and the history and so on. But you can see um, kind of cold um, some of these um, graves go way back someone here died in 1804 uh, quite a while quite a while back um, and many of them have been uh, washed off with the with the weather and so on I'll walk over here quickly to um, what used to be the little town hall and then uh, I'll take you across the street to the old farmhouse uh, we're out looking at property and so on but for those that have um, Google or map search or whatever like that we're right at the intersection of Moncton Ridge and States Prison Hollow Road, and um, I was looking to see if there was a name of the cemetery, and I'm sure there is a name, um, but I can't find it anywhere. This building has been here as long as I've been alive, and uh, this is the town hall, and. Um, it's on the National Register of Historic Places. This is the Moncton Town Hall, and it dates back to 1859. So, um, I, I don't know. I'll check here in a minute and see if it's open and if we can go in and look up some records. Um, okay, I'm going to take you across the street to the old farmhouse. <clears throat> 